So let's talk about stage two content. Gregory, you're thinking about doing more of that because you've already up to this point um, recorded many videos uh, you know, since last year and you've done some writing as well. And now you're taking it to stage two. For those of you who don't know what that is, Google the three stages of content creation and you'll see my blog post about it. So Gregory, what is your uh, idea of stage two right now? Like how, what's your process? What might the process be? Sure. And, and I haven't even begun on, on a stage two, but I, but it feels like a very natural thing to me. The, mm. the themes that I explored in about 80 different videos and articles in 2021 yeah. are all things that are aspects, facets of the diamond of authentic living, mm -hmm. of living authentically. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are um, to me, they're evergreen themes. Yes. Not, and um, sure. so I'm, I'm mindful of what you shared about tracking responsiveness from the yes. market. Right. In right. terms of it. That's and, how we know whether it's ready for stage two or not. So, yeah. So I'm mindful of that. And simultaneously, for the most part, I mean, I haven't because I don't have a huge audience and I've, uh, I, it, there's a, some things certainly have gotten more responsiveness than others. Yes. Um, and I can, I can look at that in terms of what you've taught about, you know, what's the market calling, for, have an appetite the for. Easiest way is just to scroll down your page or channel or wherever you've posted things you just scroll down and go oh wait that one has a lot yeah that one, <laughs> of got, likes. Some, that one got some activity yeah um yeah. simplest way i mean even without a spreadsheet or anything that's yeah everyone can do that so so i'm i'm gonna be doing that i'm intending to do that and um and also to to look at in a way the way i and i'm only just beginning to lean into it but in in a way i'm i'm big on the, in my experience, on, on going with what's present for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, like rather than being super calculated in terms of, well, this seems strategic because right. 50 people responded or 15 people responded mm -hmm. like, well, only five people responded to this, but gosh, I'm personally, it's very alive for me right now. You know what? Okay. That's interesting that you said that. So when that happens, I would call that an additional angle for stage one content. Can you say more because, about that? Because um, stage two is, uh, is more calculated. I mean, it's not that we're, we're like, you know, we're not like trying to manipulate people or anything, but it's, it's stage two is like, the way I'll say this, you know, I, I sometimes talk about the, the Venn diagram of compassion and passion, like passion and compassion for an authentic business. Um, the authentic business, right? <laughs> authentic is passion. Business is compassion. Because for any business to come in, uh, we need to have compassion for the market wants and the market demands. And that's how business, you yeah, know, that's how business works. So, but the authentic part is, hey, I feel really alive about this particular topic, offer, et cetera, et cetera. And ideally, we've got authentic business, passion and compassion. There's that, there's that Venn diagram right there in the middle with like, ah, this is where I feel alive and they feel alive. And so, so stage two is ideally that Venn diagram of like, okay, if you look past all the stuff. Okay. So, 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 so back to this, what I was saying, like, if you, by the way, everyone, if you have created 10 pieces of content in your life, no, in the past couple of years if you've created 10 pieces pretty much everyone watching this has 10 articles you've written 10 things or you've made 10 videos right and put 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 these 10 things out there if you've done put 10 things out there you're ready for stage two content stage two content doesn't have to have require 80 like gregory has done 10 you can start because out of the 10 you put out there one of those 10 got more likes than the other nine now you might say, George, my audience is small. I, I, I get like zero likes for most of them. But yeah, but one of those 10 got one like and the other nine got zero likes. Right. That one like is more than zero. That one like is ready for stage two. That's it. 
I mean, <laughs> one is more than zero. So most of you are getting at least one like for every 10 posts. And that's the one that's the one that could take anyway. But Gregor, you obviously have even so you, you don't have a huge audience yet. You obviously have more than one like on average. You, you get several likes on average. So, OK, so if you are seeing that this one got five and this one got 15, you somehow feel more alive about the five right now. I would say, OK, it didn't. Yeah, because I get this all the time, too. I, 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 I get you like this year, uh, for example, I, I am going to I'm kind of like slowly rewriting my book, Authentic Selling, and it's my least well-selling book. It's my least well-selling topic of uh, various topics I talk about. Surprisingly, shockingly to me, authentic selling is the least, I mean, uh, content creation, uh, you know, authentic content, uh, joyful, all those get more, more, more anyway. But I'm still doing it because it's alive for me. But I'm trying to find a different angle every time I talk about it. Um, so with, with regards to the one that got five versus 15, you could say, hmm, what's the overall topic about it? How did I address it last time? What was the frame around it? What was the story or what was the angle? Is there a different angle or is there a different persona I could use for approaching that same topic? I would invite you to try that. I, I, I love that. This is, this is helpful. And it's one of the things that had occurred to me, the part about like, like part of what, I, what I've understood about second stage um, it, that's really just been conceptual because I haven't yeah. done second yeah, stage yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but conceptually, part of the frame that I've understood is uh, maybe there are new insights. Maybe there's some uh -huh. uh, different ways of fleshing it out. Yeah. Um, and maybe there are different examples uh -huh. that were used initially. So that, yeah. uh, like a different personal example from my own mm -hmm. life that might have more resonance or, or right. there may be additional details and more relevance for the, for the audience and so on. So that so would I, be, yeah, I would say a diff, additional insights would still be stage one stuff. A, um, sorry, uh, additional stories, additional insights, sorry, additional stories and insights would be a stage two thing. Like you, you take the same thing and you like, same topic, same framing, same way you're, same angle, but you're just adding more information and a, a more grounding examples or stories. Great, that's stage two. But like stage one would be like same topic, a different angle at it, different framing. Uh, it's still, for example, like, like tell me one topic, for example, let's, let's see if we can come up with an example. What's one that's alive sure, for you, right? Sure, I'll take one that I did like a minute on the other day. I did the sure. personas on, okay. this is a pretty laser sure, thing, sure. but yeah. I could do eight minutes on it or one minute on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sym sympathy versus empathy. Okay, okay, an example. great example, yeah. So let's say you were taking a like one angle, well, what's one angle you can you can give us briefly here? Well, uh, as an angle, can you say more? I can think in terms yeah. of persona. Well, what's, but, what, what, but what, sorry, what, what, what would you say? Like, I'll just say right there. What would you say in 20 seconds about sympathy? In 20 sympathy? seconds? Yeah. Okay, 20, 20, 20 seconds. You said eight minutes, one Sym minute, now sympathy. 20 seconds. You poor thing. Oh, my God. You must be so miserable secretly. Glad that's not me. Empathy. <laughs> Wow, that must really hurt. I can feel a reference point for my own tenderness around yeah. that. I'm right with you. Beautiful. I don't know if that was 20 seconds. That, but no, I no, no, that's fine. That's, that's one <laughs> angle at it, right? Right. Um, another angle at it I could imagine is um, to, to, to talk about um, sympathy versus empathy, like as in there, there might be like an, some example in the news or in the real world. Um, you kind of like starting that topic from that angle. So when I say angle or different framing, what I mean especially is like the first 25 to 33% of the content is how you're framing it, right? And yeah, sure, it's like the same topic can be approached, approach is another way of saying it, it can be approached from different angles and it's like, it's like a house, you know, it's like a house with many doors. You can approach it from different doors. 
And the different doors are going to make a difference to whether or not people want to enter the house. Yeah. Right. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, I loved that you started with, with that impression or that sort of like dramatization. That's one angle I added. Another angle could be, could be like a common understanding of sympathy is let's go to the dictionary, blah, 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 versus empathy is blah, blah. Like that's another angle at it where it's like really in a, in an eight minute video, let's say the first two minutes you're spending on Merriam Webster definition, you know what I mean? And, and then you might then go into a dramatization or something else. So it's like you enter the house in a different door and then you're in the house and now the house is more or less the same. Uh, depending on what whatever door you, you come into, so but but it really does make a difference the the approach the angle. I'm really hearing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so I'm so glad I asked. I had no idea this is the gold that was going to be revealed in yes. the, in the answer. <laughs> but this is super helpful because even yeah. I think like uh, I I don't remember. I may have referenced Brene Brown in one of the videos. Sure, like, that's another original, angle. Like you, but I you could, could actually see. open with Brene Brown sure. describes yeah. sympathy. Yeah as when one is having a difficult time as if they've right. climbed into a pit or they're yeah, in a yeah, pit yeah, yeah. Yeah. and the other person is on the outside right. of the pit looking down into the pit, yes. but not climbing down into it. Right. There's this sense of separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I, you know, but- So there we go. So whether that's it's the dictionary or another thought leader or- Yeah, yeah. But to, but right. to as what's, All these... what's the entryway? That's the, what's the entryway? Because it's like, um, you know, that that same idea of the the, the way you enter a house it's like every door is painted a different color you know and it's like you find your audience really likes red doors or green doors or blue doors or doors with like flowers around it it's like right. you wouldn't have known or, Bre Until, or people light up when they hear Brene Brown right exactly you know, for all my videos from now on I'll say Brene Brown has nothing to do with this video. It's However. just a door that says Brene Brown, you know, and they think they're going, yeah, Brene Brown? Oh, yeah. At least there's, a, there's someone say, talking about Brene Brown. Great. You know, I love yeah. Brene Brown, but let me talk about auto mechanics. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the video title literally says Brene Brown, colon, you know, sympathy for his entity, and then parentheses, no Brene Brown here. <laughs> no, I'm not interviewing Brene Brown. <laughs> No, but it's it's really it's really interesting. Um, I mean, but but of course, the video title is a separate separate issue. Like the, with when it comes to video titles, we do uh, want to balance between uh, an interesting title versus clickbait. You know, but yeah, but the framing though is absolutely legit. That you 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 talk about a thought leader or something first. That's that's great to to try that. Yeah, that's super helpful. Thank you, George. Yeah. And, and just to wrap up the conversation about, well, what, what would be stage two then? If, if, if stage one could be like different framings of one topic, stage two is like, well, surprisingly, the definition framing really worked really well, let's say. OK. And then you say, well, gosh, people really liked my topic about sympathy, empathy. And when I came, came through the definition angle, great. OK. Well, then stage two might be like, let me go more into that. Let me, let me like go into... Well, and did you know the Latin root of, of these two words mm. are actually related, you mm. know, and it comes from the Latin blah, 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 of this, which has this connotation. <laughs> it's like a more of a literary angle to, to this. Yeah. And, and they might yeah. really like it or they might really hate it. <laughs> we don't know. But the stage one gives us that, that those clues. It's great. Very helpful. Yeah. Thanks Thank so you. much for asking. Yeah. And thanks all for your chats in the in the in the you know live here as well. Thank you.